Okay? So it is actually the rules of spelling. But not alone that. It's the nomenclature. It is the science through which we learn the rules of spelling and how to write what has been said. It is important to note that, that the rasmi of the Qur'an is, is treated as its own section by the, by the, the scholars. The rasmi, by, rasmi Qur'an, how the Qur'an is written and everything, there are, there are particular rules and so it's dealt with in that way. Here we mean rasmi outside of the Qur'an, okay? A rasmi is very easy and it's fun to learn. Following this order of study will give your mind the time it needs to completely absorb the rules and their detailed applications, okay? If you take your time, you'll get it. Okay, because a rasmi utilizes a lot of sarf, and it utilizes a lot of nahmu. okay? Right, going along, next take lessons in al-insha'u, which literally means to grow up and develop. As a term, al-insha'u is the science through which we learn how to develop and arrange feelings, emotions, ideas, and descriptions into clear Arabic expressions. For example, in English, we say, I'm going to cut my hair. In Arabic, you don't, it, it, you, you don't say that, because it sounds like you're saying, I'm going to chop my hair. You don't say I'm going to chop my hair. You say I'm going to get my hair barbered. I have to hurry up. It is called the art of composition, the art of expressing specific thoughts in the normal expected method. Okay. Um, again, the order in which one learns is just as important as one is what one learns. And by learning how to organize one's thoughts into clear statements, al Sha'u acts as a preview to the science of balagha. We'll come back to this after the salah so we can finish this lesson. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hold on.